Frank on TV again. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the very first episode of Creating Woo! Competition. Uh, this is the technical part of my YouTube channel, Poster Boy TV. Uh, you know, usually here, all I post is vlogs because I like to share my journey and tell you guys about what's going on in my life and my career. But there is something that I felt like was missing, which was like actually bringing you guys some value. Long story short, what I decided to do is teach you guys how to do some of the stuff that I do um, and do it in a very fun way. Now, one thing that I'm not going to do is like start off every one of my tutorials with some long drawn out like like how or why part because those annoy the shit out of me and i'm not gonna do that to y'all so let's get into it guys today what we're going to talk about is how to take advantage of the gallery post <clears throat> sorry the gallery post in Instagram that's the the place on Instagram where you can swipe through multiple images in one post uh, you can get up to 10 images in there I don't recommend it because it's like why would you put 10 images in one post um, unless you were like a blogger or something like that because that would be the only other reason why but I'm gonna teach you guys that like to post images how to do some really cool stuff with it and that's basically the continued image part so let's get right into it. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to create a new document inside of Photoshop. Uh, and we're going to call this Hunter, not Hunter, not Hunter, Hunter. Okay. All right. So the full size images inside of Instagram are actually a ratio. They have a ratio of four to five. So for every 400 pixels, there needs to be 500 pixels in height. So four by five. So what we're gonna do, because we want multiple four by five images to actually merge together, we're gonna create one Photoshop document that's the size of multiple posts, right? So 800 width, 500 on the height, not 55, Frank, 500 on the height, and enter. The next thing you want to do is use your uh, guides and move them over to the middle of this document because that would mean it right there at 400. That's how you split this in half. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to place the image. Sorry about that. You want to place the image that you want to be one large post inside this document itself. Here's that image of Hunter place and then you get it to its desired size by stretching it or changing up the percentage all right all right cool I like that I like that portion I like how it's spaced and I'm getting it right there in the middle See, you can look at this and tell that if you were to swipe left to right, that would make an intriguing and very interesting image. So on one side, you have the left side of his face, and in one post, you have the right side of his face. And swiping it, would, I guess you can say, to me, would give your viewer something satisfying to look at or interact with. Now, what I do next is not that. Uh, I actually go up to the guide to here on my uh, my left hand side, my slice tool, slice tool, sorry, the slice tool. And then I click slice from guides and it cuts that image up into do two different slices. Next thing I do is I go to file, save for web. And in the save for web section, you'll see that it's already split up with the guides right here and there. So make sure that those are still, those both are there. Sorry, I'm like all bubbled in my words. And you click save. 
and I'm just gonna save it as Hunter and click save in the Instagram slider folder that I already created here, finder. And you'll see that after you saved for, save for web, it'll create a folder inside of uh, the folder where or wherever you designated that actual post to go you'll see that it pops up with an images folder right there on your desktop and you go inside that images folder and you see that there are your two different images one there and one there the next thing that i do is i actually airdrop them from my computer to my phone or whatever uh whatever platform or sending or sharing platform that you use to actually send images from your computer or to, to your phone do it whether it be texting it emailing it uh some way you got to get those images from your computer to your phone there it goes guys the first thing that i do whenever i get the photos inside my phone is i go straight to instagram and just like you're going to do a regular post i click the add post button uh it's the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and then i see the two images that i've already uploaded into it and i want to make sure that you make the photo the full size that it could be by pressing the uh full size button in the bottom uh left hand corner of instagram and what i do to make sure that it's the full image is i pinch it make it pinch go all the way down to the middle just so you can make sure that you have the full photo in that shot and then what you do is you hit the multiple post button in the far right corner and then you get the opportunity to actually choose another shot so now i have both the first one and the second shot that i want posted but they're out of order so you see number two is posted there uh I, they were out of order so i'm changing them around so i want this one to be first and i want this one to be second and you want to make sure that you pinch them to make sure that they are the size that they need to be inside of the post itself so you pinch them all the way back make sure that you don't mess that up okay all right they're both the full size and there you'll get a preview sorry about that there you'll get a preview of what the post will look like. Now I won't have that space in it. It'll be split right. Um, it won't be a split. It will merge together just like the full image right here on the computer screen. So let's click next and let's type something witty. Uh, C Hunter in full frame, right? just because that is cool. And uh, we usually put a bunch of hashtags, but this is just a test for you guys. And you click okay, and hit share. Uh, and there you have it. Not that post, because that's not mine. There you have it, because Instagram moves so fast. You swipe left, you swipe right. You swipe left, not all the way like that. Swipe left, and swipe right, and you can see right there in the middle of the full image, but with a swiping ability. Cool, huh? So that took significantly longer than what I thought it was gonna take. Uh, I wanted this to be shorter. Next week's episode will be something a little bit more uh, straight to the point. And I hope you guys come back and I hope that this tutorial was actually um, helpful to you guys uh because i know that the, i wondered for a minute how to do it i had an idea but i talked to somebody and they taught me so i'm teaching you so this has been episode one of creating competition i hope that you guys enjoyed it uh, in the comments section have edit tell me what uh you do differently if you've done this and Tell me what you want to learn next and maybe your idea will be the next thing or the next tutorial that I give out. I will see you guys next time here on Creating Competition. Poster Boy TV. Poster Boy, I am out. Peace.